everyone, welcome back to another week's meal kit. And this week we have a lovely take on a Chinese dumpling. Um, so full of flavour, lots of delicious textures, uh, possibly something you might not have tried before, um, but a really great recipe to push your boundaries, try something new and experience some new ingredients. Um, talking of which, I'll just talk you through what we're going to use this week. Um, so the first thing we're going to use, you've used this before, I think in quite a few different recipes, is some spring onion. Um, then we have an ordinary onion, we've got some garlic, we've got some ginger, we've got quite a large courgette, so we'll probably use about half of that. We've got some um, already lovely cooked mushrooms. In the recipe it says raw mushrooms, which you then cook off, but we've just done a little bit of that process for you. Um, we've got these bean sprouts here, which are these sort of nice stringy um, vegetable things. And then, this is the ingredient that you might not have tried before. So this is called kimchi, which is sort of traditionally sort of Korean. Um, and it's fermented vegetables, which sounds really weird, but is delicious and full of flavor and adds a really nice texture to the, to the dish. So be brave and put it in, even though you think it might be a bit funny. Um, then we've got some sesame oil, We've got some soy sauce, and then there's gonna be a little dip that goes with the dumplings, and so into that little dip, we're gonna use some soy sauce, and then uh, this here, which is called mirin, or some rice wine vinegar, and then optional is some chilies, which you don't have to put in if you don't like it too spicy. Um, so I'll just show you how to prepare everything, and we'll, then we'll get making our dumplings. So the first thing I've done is just prepared the sort of aromatics. So on the chopping board, I've got some finely sliced spring onion, I've got some diced red onion, I've got some minced sort of crushed garlic, and then I've got some grated ginger. And then um, all that's really left to do is to prepare our courgette. So I'm just gonna use half of that, top and tail. And then we're going to use our bridge hole, and we're gonna just cut in little wedges like this, so we can get sort of nice, of centimeter thick strips of courgette and then with those we're just going to create sort of little matchsticks and then we can chop those into little cubes so it's all going to look really neat on our chopping board so i'm just going to move on and just sort of finely chop the spring onions and we're going to do the same to our kimchi in a minute as well so we're just breaking things down into sort of quite small bits. This is the filling for our dumpling, and I'll show you how we're going to create the filling and then um, make the little dumplings with some wrappers a bit later. We're going to chop up the kimchi as well. So I've got everything prepared now. Doesn't it look beautiful on the chopping board? So we've got our spring onions, our onions, our garlic, our ginger, courgettes, mushrooms, bean sprouts, and kimchi, all nicely prepared as the recipe says. And then we can start cooking. So the first thing that we're going to put in a sort of saucepan with a little bit of vegetable oil is the onions, the mushrooms, and the garlic. And we're gonna sweat those down for a little bit. So the onions and the garlic are in there. Um, because we've already pre-cooked the mushrooms, I'm just gonna put those in a little bit later, but if you were doing this recipe without prepared mushrooms, you would add them in at this stage as well. So the um, onions and garlic was just starting to brown, so I've just popped in the mushrooms just to warm them up. And it absolutely smells delicious, and I love that sizzly sound. So I've just transferred the sort of first mixture into a bowl and then into the frying pan, I've just put some uh, the spring onions and the ginger. And we're just gonna sweat those down a little bit and then add them into the bowl too. And we'll repeat that process for most of the things until we've got all of the ingredients in. If we put all of the ingredients in at the same time, it just wouldn't um, cook properly. Um, so it's good to do it in batches like this. So I've added um, into the bowl with the onions, garlic, spring onions, ginger. I've put the uncooked bean sprouts and also the kimchi. And then meanwhile, the courgettes are just frying off. I just put a little bit of extra oil in there and you just want a little bit of color, not too much, um, and just for them to soften down. 
and then we're going to add that into there as well. So if this is all of our mixture cooked up and just popped in one bowl, so you just want to give it a good stir around. And then into there, we're going to put four tablespoons of some um, soy sauce. This is just a light soy sauce. Soy has got this really lovely salty flavour to it, so it's going to season it. And then I'm going to put in one spoonful of some sesame oil. So I've just popped in some black pepper and then I'm just going to give that a really good stir up. And then if you've got a food processor at home, this is the moment that you would pop all of these ingredients into your food processor and sort of give it a good whiz up. If you don't have one, we're just going to chop it with a knife until it sort of resembles a paste and I'll show you how that looks. So we're just going to use our trusty cross chop and we're just going to chop that all through until it becomes a sort of nice paste consistency. But it's a bit like the filling for a spring roll in a way. Slightly different vegetables, but if you like a spring roll, I'm pretty sure you're going to like these dumplings. So that's the sort of consistency that we want. It's sort of quite small and that's going to be lovely for our dumpling filling. So we're going to leave that to one side to cool down and then I'll show you how to fill the dumplings. So whilst we're waiting for the filling to cool down, we might as well make our dipping sauce. And this is really, really delicious. Um, and you dump the dumplings in at the end. So into here, I've got 100 ml of soy sauce and 25 ml of mirin. And then I'm just gonna put in a teaspoon of sugar. And then we've got some lovely aromatics. So I've got some ginger, we've got some finely sliced um, spring onion, and then finally some shredded red chili. And that looks really pretty too. Um, but if you're not scared of spice, just leave it out. Um, if you are preparing chili, do make sure that you wash your hands afterwards because it can sting if you get um, it in your eye a bit later. So you're going to give that a nice mix up. You could add some chili flakes to this too. And um, that's just going to love, uh, sort of flavour the soy and the mirin and be a really delicious dipping sauce later. So let's fill our dumpling. So we're gonna just put a light bit of flour on our surface. We're gonna put our dumpling wrapper on the surface and we're gonna take a teaspoon of the mixture. Don't overfill it because otherwise they will explode. And then you're going to get your little finger and you're just going to dab some water around the edge of your little wrapper and that's going to help seal the dumpling. So you're going to do that with all of your dumplings. And then this is the most important part. So it's a little bit like making a pasty. So you want to grab one edge of your um, circle and you're going to fold it over into a semicircle and then pat it down like this, so it's all nicely sealed. And then you can do little crimping if you like, so you can just sort of push the pastry back on itself to create the sort of feathery look like that. And then you want to pop that, your lovely finished dumpling, onto a plate. And we can repeat that with these ones as well. So we've got our dumplings ready to go. And the way that we're going to cook them is in a frying pan. So traditionally they are put in a bamboo steamer, um, but not everybody has one of those. So this is just a nice um, other and sort of alternative way to cook them. So in here, I've just got some uh, vegetable oil or sunflower oil. I'm just going to let that warm up. And if you could make some sort of lid available for your saucepan, that's really gonna help sort of steam your dumplings and make them really delicious. So what we're gonna do is, when the oil's nice and hot, we're gonna place our dumplings into the pan, and then we're gonna fry them off for a little bit, and then we're gonna add a splash of water and just let the steam finish the cooking. Um, because there's no meat in there, it shouldn't be uh, take too long for them to cook. So you can just see they're getting a nice little bit of color on them now. So if I flip that one to, you'll see that's got a bit of color on it as well. So we're just gonna turn those over and then I'm gonna add in a splash of water and pop the lid on and then 
in about a minute they should be done. There we go, we've got our take on some Chinese dumplings with all those delicious flavour and we've got our lovely dipping sauce. And the last thing that can be done, get your dumpling, dip it in the sauce and enjoy. Mmm, so good.